Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound FeNO32. Now just know that any time that you have three or more elements in your ionic compound, you have a polyatomic ion. In this case, we have three elements. We have iron, nitrogen, and oxygen. So we have to identify the polyatomic first. That's the easiest thing. And then we can fill in the other blanks. Now the polyatomics, remember, never come from the periodic table. So I wrote you guys the one that you probably have to memorize. Now NO3, which is always a negative one charge, you should memorize the charges as well, is always called nitrate. And I have my NO3 right here. So I have that as my polyatomic. And then since it's ionic, the Fe has to be a metal. Ionic compounds always have a metal in them. Now Fe is somewhere here on the periodic table, right? We'll get to that in a little bit. But let's just start the naming. The metal name always stays the same, right? So in this case, it's Fe, and I know that Fe is iron. So I just write iron. Since this is a polyatomic, the polyatomic name always stays the same. So since NO3 was nitrate, I'm going to leave it as nitrate. But now we just have to do a little check. Is my metal a transition metal? And yes, it is. Iron is in the transition metal area of the periodic table. So whenever you do have a, a transition metal, you have to include the Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. But how are we going to find that? That's pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take the subscripts and crisscross them back up to find out the charges. There was one iron and two nitrates. So this one crisscrossed up telling me that the nitrate was a negative one. And this two crisscrossed up telling me that the iron was a plus two. So I have Fe plus two and NO3 minus one. Now, since we know that the nitrate is always a negative one charge, this checks out. And if this checks out, that means this checks out. So the charge of the iron is a plus two. So the Roman numeral is going to be a two. And you now have your answer. So the name for the ionic compound FeNO32 is iron to nitrate. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.